And um, this came about uh, by a lot of young people who were really concerned about what's been going on in, uh, in Tibet. They wanted to show, we wanted to show sort of our solidarity and um, uh, show us our support for what's going on in Tibet. So we decided to hold this vigil. Uh, and today is the 49th day. So as you know, the 49th day is a very important day for Tibet for this. Every week, once a week on Wednesdays, uh, to highlight the situation in Tibet and to show, uh, educate the public and, uh, and also uh, it'll be a place for a lot of young people to come and connect uh, with uh, and find out about our own culture and our roots and to participate in something. So it's very, I think it's very empowering for our young people to be able to come here and uh, show support for the Tibetan cause and, and talk to them. Very importantly, I think to a lot of Chinese students, a lot of Chinese students who are here, who are very interested in what we're doing, some who are offended by what we're doing, others who actually support what we're doing, but not necessarily support all of our science, but at least, you know, we can educate them and they can educate us about, you know, how it is as a Chinese person. So we try and encourage that here amongst our youth, not to react in a harsh manner when uh, Chinese students say that Tibet is part of China but to engage with them and discuss uh, you know, what, what the real situation is in Tibet because some of them don't seem to know just only what the Chinese government tells them. So uh, it's a really important day for us here. And uh, even though it's raining, uh, like it has been many nights, we've been here and we've had, Massachusetts I think has about 500 Tibetans and we've had here from 80 to 150 every day, every night here. So I think it's a very impressive turnout. Uh, considering it's this is the 49th consecutive day, people have been turning up consistently and uh, turning up consistently. So I think it's a it's a it's a great show of support, especially with a lot of young people here who uh, you know don't necessarily uh, have as much information about our our heritage and our our history. So it's a very good place for young people. To come.